Hello, my heart is. A very good morning, and dinky do it as me, Scotty McClue, and we are live at 10 o'clock sharp in the morning. Welcome, 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 I say, to our 26th pop-up, and a very, very happy birthday to Captain, now Colonel, Tom Moore, who is 100 today and has raised over £30 million for our NHS. Happy birthday, sir. We salute you. Everyone at Scotty McClue Dinky Doo says Dinky Doo to you. Or you're in Yorkshire, so Dinky Doo to thee. Aye, that's it. Right, who do we have here? Very busy already. Longshanks Leonard. You were first on this morning. That is a massive, massive accolade. So there you are. Fantastic. Kevin Kelly, Dinky Doo. Larry Donaldson. Uh, Finley Morris, Dinky Doo. Lovely that you're all up. First here, Scotty. Absolutely long chance. The wonderful Rod Hardesty has joined us. One of the greatest wizards of the big switchboard in radio across the UK. Good morning, Rod Hardesty. I salute you, sir. So there we are. He's a lot younger than Captain Tom, though. And, uh, well, mind you, uh, yes, uh, uh, Fiddly, Dinky Doo, Fiddly Morris. Chris Clark has joined us. Mark Kelsey, Sir Mark Kelsey. Welcome, Mark. Hello, Scotty. How are you today? This is uh, the wonderful Kareem. We're great, Kareem. We're fantastic today. Rod's uh, there, yes, we know that. Good morning, Scotty. I'm off to buy a bike today. Any recommendations? <clears throat> well, is it an antique one? Is it an AJS, a Matchless, a BSA Starfire C15? Is it a BSA Thunderbolt? Is it a BSA Lightning? Is it a BSA Bantam? A 125 or a 175? Is it a Rally Runabout? Is it a Mobilette? Is it a Puch Maxi? It is, is it a Vespa? Is it a Lambretta? You know, um, what else have we got? Is it an Indian? Is it a Veloset? Is it a Sunbeam? Is it a, um, a Tiger? I, I don't know. There's all these things. Morning, Scotty McClure, Dinky Doo, says Chris Clark. Good morning, Chris. And a very warm welcome to our morning pop-up live on Facebook Live. Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, first lord of the internet. Jack Arthur's joined us, Dinky Doo. Jack, lovely to have you with us. Morning, Scotty boy. Guys, I've also uploaded on YouTube for those of you who um, want to see it all afterwards and can't find it on Facebook Live. You should, though. You should be able to scroll and get it because I do post it. Uh, Margaret Sheldon, morning, Scotty. I hope you're well this morning. It's cold and windy here in the West Midlands. Oh, my clue's well known in the West Midlands. Right across the Midlands, Margaret Sheldon. I hope you are going to stay warm and safe. Never mind the wet and windy. <coughs> Pardon me, don't worry about the cough. Had it for 20 years. Neil Mills Jr. is watching, Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us, Neil Mills Jr. How are you? Now, this morning, I have my trusty tea. No milk this morning. So, um, you know, well, the milk I got, it was reduced, and I found out why. <laughs> ah! That's lovely. So we're having a cup of neat tea. It's quite neat, actually. Um, there we are. Good morning, Mr. McLean and everybody else, says Neil Mills Jr. Absolutely, Neil Mills. Lovely to have you with us. A penny farthing. Yes, is that a penny farthing? Is that a safety bicycle? Is that a Hercules? Is that a rally? I had a lovely rally New Yorker and somebody stole it. So check your bike, and if it says JD68211, stamped below the saddle, it's Scotty McClues. There we are. Mind you, that was, when was that bike nicked? It might have been probably about 50 years ago. So it might not be around, who knows? The wonderful Kenny Hyde's watching, Dinky Do, Kenny Hyde. How lovely to have you with us, and welcome, welcome, welcome. You're a top man. What Kenny Hyde doesn't know about cars is not worth knowing. There you are, I can tell you. Good morning, Scotty, says John Jones. 
Uh, what about a BSA winged wheel? Ah, I am not familiar with the winged wheel, Rod Hardesty. Is this something peculiar to the Hardesty family? Was it specially built? Do let us know. Good morning, Scotty, says the wonderful John Jones. Mark Hampshire's watching. Welcome, Mark. Lovely to have you with us. Fantastic. Good morning, Scotty. Morning, Scotty, says Kevin Roberts. Morning, Scotty, says Robert Rovers. Guys, share, share. Big share. Come on now. Let's get this shared early doors so that we don't get that wee drop in the middle. People go away to make a cup of tea or go to the levee. Daniel Foster's watching, dinky do. Long shanks, Leonard. I propose a Scotty McClue clothing line is launched. Yes, you must have um, white shorts, gents' ties, um, gents' jumpers, um, caps, uh, thumbsticks, shepherd's crooks, blackthorn sticks. There we are. Dog whistles, dog leads. <coughs> Daniel Foster, Blaine Mason Quinn. Up you get, Blaine. Come on now. Liam Barr's watching. Kevin Robbins is watching. Nicky Graham's watching. Dinky do, Scotty. Top of the body to you. Top of the body to you, Nicky Graham. And two kisses. Mwah. You princess. This is fantastic. Sean Smythe this morning. Good morning. Morning, Scotty, says Sean. Welcome, Sean. Lovely to have you with us. Big share, guys. Come on now. The heat is on. The, the, the pressure is on. So there we are. And apparently, if you can all start watch parties, that's a goodie as well. So there we are. Get the numbers up. We, should, we want this to be 100 this morning. Uh, come back to Border Telly and Radio Scotty. It's dire. Watching the local stuff in Carlisle. Hello, good evening. This is Border Television. Now with the time just approaching 6.30, it's time for... Look around. <laughs> Remember that. There we are. Now the time at five o'clock, it's Uncle Colin here with your border birthdays. <laughs> Come back to Border Telly. We loved Border Telly. Fantastic. Hi from Glen Rothes. Hello, Martin Dinky Doo. Finley Morris. Scotty, have you tasted the lovely taste of a buttery from Aberdeen? Finley Morris. Fit like for your doos, loon. No, I've tasted oh many a many money, money, money a buttery, and uh, some people like them crisp, and some people like them soft. But of course, they're near as soft as a softy. That's it. So a roll in Aberdeen's a softy, and a buttery. There we are, a, a Aberdeen, a, an Aberdeen biscuit. Very nice, the buttery. Oh, lovely, very nice for breakfast. And I can remember when I first went up to Grampy and I stayed at a big guest house in uh, in uh, Queen's, Queen's, Queen's Road. Was it the Queen's Road? Uh, and I stayed at a big guest house there and uh, got the butteries for my breakfast. No, if I always wanted to can, uh, fit away, do you like eggs in the morning? Oh, thanks very much, Mrs. McQuackle. Nay, bother. And, uh, uh, and I'll hear batteries and all that for you, you know. So, uh, see if it you like. <coughs> so there, what's the other? There's another name for the battery as well, isn't there? And Neil Mills says, I'm fine and dandy. You are indeed. Does anybody else familiar with the Aberdeen battery? Just going to share this to the story, guys. Let everybody know what's happening. And if you can all do the same, that would be great. And type in, type, 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 tap, 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 tap. Let people know. Hey, I'm watching Scotty McClure. Up you get. Put their name in. You know, that sort of thing. And just let them know. Because, as I say, you can have the most fantastic show on the whole thing. This beats television, radio, the lot. You could stick them off. You'll never get anything of this quality on there. But what I can say is that um, unless everybody knows about it, so, you know, these are quite small figures at the moment. They should be up in the million. Ross Donnelly, dinky do. Uh, nothing local now comes from Gateshead. 
Oh, Rod, you're kidding me. I love that. Rod was on duty with me one night when um, I said to him, why are all the lines not lit right now? And he went, it was sometimes quiet on a Sunday night. I said, no, 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 not when my clue's on. So we announced we didn't want anything. Geordie's phoning in and everybody phoned in. <laughs> with many a, many a Geordie as well. Ross Donnelly's watching Dickie Doo, the wonderful James Brownlow, one of the finest men in radio, great radio manager, and the son of one of the most um, wonderful radio and television men you could ever hope to meet. And uh, lovely, lovely mother and father. Fantastic. Knew them well. Nicky McHugh, Dinky Doo, David Diston. I can't believe you've joined us. How fantastic. So there we go. Uh, the winged wheel was a rear wheel with an engine. You put it onto a push bike like the Cycle Master. Now, Rod, do spill. Did you have to pay a license? for the winged wheel. <laughs> Sounds a bit crazy. Wonderful stuff. A bit of a flying bedstead. Uh, Ross Donnelly, good morning, Scotty. Dinky you do from the promised land of Paisley. <laughs> I love it. We love Paisley. Paisley, when I was wee, Paisley was falling down with money. <clears throat> Do you know that the address for the Coates of Coates Threadmills, there were Coates and there were Clarks, J&P Coates and Clarks of Paisley. And um, the address for the Coates at the turn of the century, turn of the last century, was Fergus Lee Park, Paisley. I think the whole park might be... Scotty, I was in Asda last night, bit of advertising, Kareem, in Newton Mains, and, uh, oh, he's talking about, yes, I'll not go into all that because we mentioned the store, Kareem, so there we are. Uh, good morning to Scotty, guys, try and remember not to mention businesses, stuff like that, second names of uh, famous people, all that sort of stuff, you know what I mean. Good morning to Scotty, dinky do. I'd give you a match at the darts. Now, I told you, David Diston, did I not, that I had never played darts in my life till January this year. And I took on a very skilled darts player who was teaching me to play darts, uh, surprisingly. And uh, I was outscoring him. He said, <laughs> he says, here's how you throw the dart. And I was apparently getting very, very good scores. But I still didn't understand it. <clears throat> Stephen Mooney is watching. Thank you, Stephen Mooney. How lovely to have you with us. The wonderful Violet Tullock is watching. Good morning, Violet. Up there in Lerwick, am I right? In Shetland. Lovely, lovely to have you with us. And uh, one of the finest pianists and piano accompanists for the Scottish fiddle ever. There we are. Morning, Scotty. Have you seen yesterday's picture of the bike? Alistair, I did. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I think your money's been well spent there, chum. But uh, it's a lot of pennies. So there we are. Gordon Stilling is up and about. Ross Guthrie's watching Dinky Doo Ross. Can you pour out for my fallen homie? Pour one out for my fallen homie Chris Shaw, Scotty. So there we are. Yes, long shanks. We can look after Chris. Uh, the wonderful Eleanor Lockhead says good morning again. So you must have said good morning before. And maybe I missed it. There's so much coming in here, as you can see. Can you see it all? Uh, it's poor to watch, mate. What do you mean, Chris? The quality or the presenter? So there you are. It's poor to watch. Did you get my links? It might be your kit, Chris. You know, have you paid your bill and everything? Did you get my links, Scotty? Kevin Roberts, did I get your links? Not yet. Did you send them on Messenger? Don't send me anything on Messenger because this device is not on Messenger. <clears throat> I can find Messenger on my um, other device uh, if I search for it. But if you send me a message, guys, and you think, how rude, then I just haven't seen it. Uh, but plus the fact, to be quite honest with you, and I don't want this to sound like 
trumpet blowing, but messages come in in their hundreds to McClue, literally just everybody wants a wee chat. So there we are. Rob White is watching. Thank you know, Rob. Shout out to Eve Lockhead, please, says Eleanor. Eve Lockhead, Dinky Doo from Scotty McClure and everyone else in the nation. Wonderful. More sharing, guys, have we shared? Uh, so there, oh, there's the winged wheel from Rod Hardesty. Only 50 cc, uh, but you had to pedal up the smallest hill. Well, I had a rally runabout, and there was also another we would call the Mobilette. Lovely thing, 1963 it was. Um, that's not when I had it, but that was in 1963. I think Prince was talking about you when he wrote Nothing Compares to You, Scotty. Finlay Morris, what a lovely, lovely thing to say, Prince. And, of course, I was actually a student with the great Sheena Easton. So there we go. Elliot Boyd, Dinky Doo Scotty, here's your first question to test your knowledge of your mother country. One of Scotland's famous inventors in 1926 went to the hardware store <clears throat> and came back with a coffin lid, bicycle lamps, sealing wax, and cardboard. What did he invent with these, and what was his name? Coffin lid, bicycle lamps, ceiling wax and cardboard. It wasn't John Logie Baird from Helensborough, was it? And he invented the television. It wasn't that one by any chance. So there we are. A thought. I'll put that out there just now, George, but don't don't tell us. We may get everyone else. If anyone else can help, then George Newton has um, he's, uh, set us all a test. Dinky do, Scotty. Here's your first question to test your knowledge of your mother country. One of Scotland's famous inventors in 1926 went to the hardware store and came back with a coffin lid, bicycle lamps, sealing wax, and cardboard. What did he invent with these, and what was his name? I've gone for John Logie Baird. Television. The Baird system. Uh, Jack Arthur, Scotty, can I get a shout-out from my mate David Ramsey? He's too shy to ask for a shout-out for himself. David, you never, ever, ever need to be shy with Scotty McClue and the gang. You're among friends here. This is our family. Josh Newton is there. Mark Sheldon, Rowies, that's it, Margaret. That's what a battery is fitted as, is a Rowie. You've got a rowy and you've a softy, and he've had many a rowy. And as I say, the lady says, I'll pop it in a toaster, and make it. some people like them crisp. So there we are. So tell us what you think. All the uh, all the loons and quines, give us a shout on the batteries. And the Campbell's watching. What an absolute top man, a very, very fine box player. Dinky do, and uh, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky do. Finlay Morris, Thomas Peden. Finley's getting Thomas up. I wonder if Thomas is having a wee lie in these mornings. <coughs> so there we are. Finley Morris, Michael Factor, you get them up. It's your job. You are the knocker up. It's a slightly different sense in Scotland. But in all the little northern towns, Lancashire, Yorkshire, the Midlands, all the terraced houses, the miners' rows, the steel workers, you had a guy called a knocker up, and he went round to the windows with a with a pole, and he rapped on people's bedroom windows with a long pole to knock them up in the morning to go and do their shift at the mill or down the mine or the steelworks. The knocker up, as I say, it has a slightly different meaning in Scotland, so uh, don't knock her up. And uh, Provost William Henry, my Lord, your grace, good morning. My Lord Provost, lovely to have you with us. Longshanks Leonard, Thomas Speeden deserves a smack bottom for being late. Well, we'll leave that to you, Longshanks. And uh, Thomas Speeden says, Finlay Morris, I'm here. Morning, Scotty. Morning, Thomas. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo Thomas, 
I wouldn't have got your message. I was just telling people I'm not on Messenger on this device. So my apologies, because uh, what it does, it tends to interrupt the show. So much comes in. Uh, good morning, Scotty. Thank you, do. Morning, Michael Farker. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, guys. We need to share what is happening here. We must share. And uh, somebody dared to suggest this is show number 26. So I've given you 26 fabulous scintillating hours of education, information, and entertainment. So this is number 26. And as I say, I'll chuck it when you get fed up. But I do think it should be on national television right now during the lockdown. And you can phone Scotty McClure or text me or email me and I shall sit up on your television screens, either public service or commercial television, and I shall uh, broadcast all your messages, your shout outs, and we'll just get together as a country. That would be a far more judicious use of the wave band right now. And uh, I also think that news should be divided into news and um, coronavirus news so that we can actually get a degree of normality from our broadcasters. So there you are. As I say, I switch on the news to see if there's anything about coronavirus, and I am not disappointed. So there we are. So that's just an idea. And I also would like the newscasters um, and the correspondents and the, to stop starting everything with, well, so there we are. But we've been there before. Um, Stephen McMahon, good morning, Scotty Dinky too. How are you today? I'm going to share. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. You lot can push off. I'm sharing. I have to share. We promised a share and I got distracted. No, stop. Talk to the face. The hand ain't listening. So there we go. See what I just did there. Did you like that? Right, I'm sharing, guys. This will let some people know we are on. And if you can all do the same, my beauties, that would be outstanding. There we are there. I'm going to share to the big Scotty McClue. The big Scotty McClue page. The big Scotty McClue cage. Right, here we are. Um, live now. <coughs> Now, join in, in, up, you get. That's what we'll tell the nation. Jo uh, live now, join in, up you get. Is that fair enough? Anything else you'd like to say to the nation, folks? Keep it clean and polite, of course. Keep it appropriate at all times. Uh, right, what have we got here, guys? Finlay Morris. Other supermarkets are available. This is a non-biased broadcaster. Correct, Finley Morris. And the lovely thing about Scotty McClure is I can always see other people's point of view. Very, very important. I'm going to share again. I'm getting into the share indulgence. Uh, share to, well, share to the Scotty McClure fan group. Did everybody get an invite to that yesterday? It's about 3,000 of us, but it'll grow. Uh, Scotty McClure, my apologies about the store mentions. On another note, I believe Paisley, in its own right, should be a city. Good competition against Glasgow. Absolutely, Kareem, not your fault at all. You didn't realise that. If we were on the radio, we'd make it quite clear that we don't mention businesses or what. But the thing is, um, I can do that. Here's a nice wee advert for the store. But if it's a sort of anything kind of a wee bit critical, then, uh, you know, we, we just draw the line at that because that's not fair, uh, if, you, if you see what I mean. Um, because we don't know what the situation was down at another supermarket. So that's, that's all I'm saying there. Now, um, here we go, guys, sharing a group. So I shall share in Scotty McClure. So I'll type in SC. There we are. I've heard about that. Do you realize Scotty McClure is quite genuinely a massive worldwide brand? I was amazed. I'll tell you a gorgeous story in a minute. I don't know if I've told you before. So there we are. 
A darts joke for you, Scotty. Michael Farquhar has got a darts joke. I love it. Here we are. What do darts teams play in winter? Ice hockey. Ice hockey. Uh, Alistair King, happy 100th birthday to Sir Tom Moore. Absolutely. Tom's been made a colonel in the army at 100. So that will not do his career any harm, I can tell you. That is fantastic. Right. Scottish Blue Group. So there we are. Uh, o T T I E. And uh, put that up. There we go. Scotty McClure Group. Yes. And uh, I'll go um, uh, live now up we get. Same thing. Live now up you get. Up you get. There we go. Live now up you get. <laughs> Fantastic. Right. That's gone off to the Scotty McClure fan group. So uh, the story is the wonderful Jack has joined us. Jack Mellie's Dinky Doo, Scotty McClure. Dinky Doo, Jack, lovely to have you with us. Thomas Speed and John Marshall, you get them up. Kevin Roberts, yes, Scotty sent on Messenger some links to old jingles and info about internet radio stations. Fantastic. I'm just wondering if maybe the radio station should take this program live in the morning. Uh, you know, that sort of idea. Because I don't have the money to do it, but I found out... If you pay, you can broadcast simultaneously on multi-platforms. And that might be an idea for looking at for the future when I get some pennies again. As you know, um, I surrendered my life savings to a radio station, which didn't go um, all that near the radio station. Uh, so there we are. Uh, we did have a stewardship problem. Yes, Scotty, absolutely. So there we go. But it is coming up to the 30th anniversary of when I started Centre Sound, the uh, radio station for Central Scotland. So I'll maybe post you some stuff about that, guys. That would be wonderful. Right, I think that's gone. I think we've shared that and it's away. That's fantastic. That should let people know. Uh, the story I was going to tell you about how wide a brand Scotty McClure is. <clears throat> I was once in Greece and we're staying at this hotel and we're standing at the bar. I liked a refreshment those days. And we're standing at the bar and uh, this chap who ran a, oh, a big studio in London and um, he was talking, he said, of course I know you, Scotty, absolutely. Anyway, the um, Greek barman came over and he said, yes, what can I get you? And he said, uh, he said, serve him first. He's a big star, Scotty McClure. And the barman took a step back, stared at me and said, you are Scotty McClure? And I said, yes. One moment. And he disappeared. And he came down with the owner of the hotel and his son. And they said, we are so pleased and honoured to meet you, Scotty. And I thought, this is a wind-up. He's, he's gone and told them to say all this. We're in Greece. How would you have heard of Scotty McLean in Greece? And I said, how, how do you know about me? I thought I had to do a wee bit of the Sherlock Holmes. And he said, I was a student at Glasgow University. I had a flat in Govan. I listen to you every night. <laughs> it is such a pleasure and a privilege. And of course, I had the most wonderful holiday at that hotel. So there we are. Is that not amazing? And that's that's one up for you. Miller McToom, dinky you do. Aaron Foy is extremely hung Scotty. Don't be so harsh, Thomas Peden. So there we are. Uh, Peter Connolly, ladies glow. Uh, Peter Connolly, Stuart Main, thank you. A shout out to Eddie Cairns, please, Scotty. He's doing online fundraising today. So there we are. And he's getting a full body wax in aid of his local charity. How can you do a full body wax with social distancing? So you, you just sort of get a big, great big pair of tweezers or something. Uh, <laughs> hey, don't try that at home now, folks. Hamish Napier, dinky-doo. I think I must have waxed my head. 
Peter Connolly, you're spot on. John Logie Baird, Peter Connolly, I can't believe it. There we are. You put me on the spot. I have to say, old chum, but uh, I'm glad we came up Trump. So I was, I was right with that one. It was John Logie Baird with all these bits and pieces. I would imagine he made something spin with the bicycle lamps and then checked when you could see the light through the cardboard, probably. Something like that, I would think. George Newton, spot on, Scotty. Logie Beard. Next question coming up. George Newton, you are harsh on me. So there we are. Right, Longshanks, Leonard. I'm hung over to Scotty. Can we get something religious on the organ this morning again? Repent. So there we are. I'll give you, yes, I will. I'll give you something in the organ. Scotty, where is wee fat Bob these days? Are you still pals? Were you ever pals? What's his real name? I don't know any of these things. Wee fat Bob. Uh, we used to rip the mints out each other on the radio, remember? Rod Hardesty. Who woke the knocker up, up? Yes, good one, Rod Hardesty. Excellent. I would imagine there must have been a wife of a knocker up who knocked him up in bed, said, up you get your useless article, you've got knocking up to do. I'm knocking you up. And he could have said to his wife, well, someday I'll knock you up. No, maybe we'll not go there just now. Um, right, what I was going to say, there was a lovely story of, I think you Rod Harvest, it might have been a Lancashire village. And the knocker up made himself very, very, very unpopular. He got confused as to the day he was knocking up. He knocked up a whole row of the wrong shift who had just got to their beds at six in the morning. So they'd all just dropped off to sleep and he knocked them up. Mr. Popular! How to win friends and influence people, I say. So there we go. Robert Rovers. I took the mother-in-law to Madame Tussaud's Chamber of Horrors last year, Scotty. And one of the attendants said, uh, could you keep her moving, sir? We're stock taking. Stop. There we are. To mother-in-laws, everyone. We love you. Mine used to kickstart Jumbo Jets. She was great. And uh, she would order her new knickers from a company called rent -a tent There we are. Mike McCabe, Dinky Doo, Jim Higgins. Shared, Scotty. Oh, yes. Can we all share, guys? Massive, massive share. Let's do it now while we remember. Yes. Yes. While we remember. So there we are. Let's just share. Uh, I'll share to another page. See if we can get these numbers up. Can everybody share? Scotty, you should start a podcast. Jack Arthur, I'm a little bit perplexed. What's the difference between this and a podcast? You know, apart from the in interactivity. We like our interactivity, don't we? There we are. Scotty McClure, global radio and television producer. Live now, up you get. Live now, up you get. Oh, I've not put a capital at you. I'm going to capitalize this, guys. Capitalize on it. Live now, up you get. Has that what? Right. And this one. Right. And just, just be with you in a second. Right, live now, up you get, and that goes out to Global Radio and Television. Share with all your big groups, guys, if you're members of groups. Uh, I think you could sell out at Madison Square Garden, Scotty. Finlay Morris, that's the next step, isn't it? See, let's get the strength of McClure. We should be all across... I was being offered a job yesterday. I'm serious. I got an email yesterday and I was being offered a job in China. I hadn't checked to see if it was in Wuhan. So there we are. 
Um, a wee rhyme I made up during the lockdown when the clock strikes 10 o'clock, whether you're at Glasgow Green, Paisley Cross or under Dumbarton Rock, the thing to do is join Mr McClure for an hour of pop-up talk. Peter Connolly, I am impressed. We are impressed. We are in uproar. Uh, we, a wee rhyme I made up, right? Let's get it right. <coughs> Let's scan this for iambic pentameter. See what I just did there? Um, during the lockdown, when the during the lockdown, when the clock strikes ten, whether you're at Glasgow Green, Paisley Cross, or under Dumbarton Rock, the thing to do is join Mister McClure for an hour of pop-up talk. Yes, it's got a sort of um, classic style about it there, hasn't it? And that's kind of one for touchstones. Does anybody remember touchstones? A book we got in school with nonsense poetry in it. For thou hast slain the Jabberwock, come to my arms, my beamish boy. Oh, frabjous day, Kalukale, he chortled in his joy. Lovely nonsense stuff. So, um, when the clock strikes ten o'clock, whether Glasgow, Green, Paisley Cross, or Dumbarton Rock, the thing to do is join. The thing to do is join Mr. McClure for an hour's pop-up talk. There we are. It's better if you can have wrap it, isn't it, Peter? So, when the clock strikes ten o'clock, whether you're at Glasgow, Green, Paisley Cross, or under Dumbarton Rock, the thing to do is join Mr. McClure for an hour's pop-up talk. Ah, we love it. There we are. Excellent stuff, more sharing. I think ITV should give you the hour Jeremy had. Yes, Jeremy. Do you know that Jeremy replaced me in uh, Century Radio in the northwest of England? He followed on from Scotty McClure, and I've heard that it was quite a tough gig to follow Scotty McClure for Jeremy. So there you are. See, I'm not just an athlete, you know. Uh, morning, Scotty. Dinky-doo. We had a long line this morning. So a little late to the party. I'm loving the skip cap. Stuart McLean. We always wear the skip cap. Morning, ladies. Morning. Because you can, uh, you know, you can uh, give people a wee doff of the cap. Morning. Lovely to see you. You would touch your cap. That's not a full doff. A doff's more for maybe a funeral or something, if the coffin passes, even if I don't know who it is and I'm walking in the street and a hearse passes, I will take my cap off. So it's something we all used to do. You would doff your cap. Or if you couldn't make the funeral, um, and my father has done this, you would go to the cemetery gates and bow and doff your cap as the hearse arrived at the cemetery gates. Quite often people would say for deaths in the paper, it would say, meet at cemetery gates. Mm -hmm. Davy Harry is watching. I thought I'd just cheer you all up there. Ha ha, classic joke, Fraser Guthrie. Did you like that one? Excellent stuff. Um, which one was it? Morning, Scotty. How about... Uh, ill groceries? Via the vital, oh, how about we get our groceries via the vital spark? Uh, furtive, that's what he is, I'll tell you. Uh, Mike McCabe, congrats to Captain Tom and his 100th birthday. We did open the show with it, Mike, and uh, huge respect for the humble lad. However, it's a worry that our NHS is relying on just giving pages of 100-year-old pensioners to raise funds. I agree. I mean, Tom's done a fabulous job, but the NHS, £30 million better off because of that gentleman. Uh, so there we are. What a legacy. It should be noted that no one has ever fundraised for Trident nuclear weapons, and there's never, ever been a shortfall in equipment for these weapons of mass destruction and death. Now, that's actually a very fair point, Mike McCabe. No matter where anybody's coming from, uh, I mean, there could be an argument to keep peace. You need to be prepared for war. Um, I think the, I agree with Bill Gates, the next step 
the next war is not coming via weapons of mass destruction as we know them. So you're not going to have the bombings and the carpet bombings and all that stuff. The next war will be caused by viruses like we are unfortunate enough to be experiencing now. I suspect if there is a next war, uh, and we'll all be gone. I think the problem that any enemies developing viruses to clobber their enemy is there's every chance they'll clobber themselves. You know, it's a bit like when a suicide bomber goes to bomb something and blows themselves up. You quite often hear of it, you know. Um, so there we are. But you're quite right. I don't recall anybody saying, I'm collecting for uh, nuclear weapons. Would you like to give something? Very good thought. Well done. Very, very good, Mike McCabe. Longshanks, the Dalai Lama. I know this one, Longshanks. This is wonderful. This is one of mine. So there you are. Great joke. I'll not actually tell it on here at the moment because it's sort of personalized, but it is a brilliant joke. And I have told it at after dinner speeches, you know, a cracker. Name and shame the station, says Thomas Peden. <laughs> no, we don't name and shame. We're not a knocking shop. Uh, Roddy Morrison is watching. Wonderful, wonderful man. Roddy Morrison, welcome, welcome, welcome. You are such a top man. And we welcome you to our morning broadcast internationally. Uh, Scotty McClure, what design is your tie today? Oh, Kareem, you'll have to guess. So there we are. See if you can find one like it. Smart tie today, Scotty. Margaret Sheldon. You will see Scotty McClure wearing this tie going back 28 years. Amazing. I've been Scotty McClure on radio and television for 28 years in June. Is that not pretty good? You know, is that not a good one to the ones that went, ah, that, that'll, that'll never last. <laughs> that'll last. <laughs> that All that stuff. Isn't that amazing? Uh, Change the spark plug in the old bike yesterday. It was a shocking experience. Next time, I think I should turn it off first. <laughs> Don't try that at home, anybody. That was for entertainment purposes, you know. And uh, Thomas Peden, Dinky Doo, self waxing. Quite right. Yes. As long as you're not, um, what is it? Self, self wean. Like the moon, the moon waxes and wanes. Self wean would mean you were just kind of, just going to weigh down to nothing. <laughs> there we are. So self waxing. Uh, Stuart McLean, got a wee story for you, Scotty. I know you love a story. I recently bumped into an old school friend called Bobby, handsome for some amount of years, and it transpired he changed. Oh, I love it. Yes, absolutely. You couldn't get it good. So the joke here, my lads, is a wee story, Scotty. I bumped into an old school friend called Bobby Jobby. I hadn't seen him for some years, and it transpired he'd changed his name from school days. I did pull it out. His name is now Tommy Jobby. <laughs> you couldn't make it up. <laughs> Can't see this happening in Lancashire. More like Yorkshire. What, Rod Hardesty? What are you talking about? The knocking up. Oh, Scotty, question two for today, for goodness sake. Putting me on the spot here. Question two for today. Scotland has the world's shortest street at six foot nine inches long. Where is it? And for bonus points, what is the street called? Scotland has the world's shortest street. I know there's a McClure Road. I think it's in Renfrew. Scotland has the shortest street. Where is it? And for bonus points, what's the street called? Is it Wee Street? 
<laughs> is it in Edinburgh? I have a slight feeling it might be in Edinburgh, but I could be, I could be wrong. I don't know George Newton, but I will never pass on anything because we've got, the whole world is watching. And somebody's going to come up with the answer for this because we've got the world watching. I think it might be a wee street in Edinburgh. And I'm just wondering if it's called Wee Street or something lean or what have you. It's not off Rose Street, is it, in Edinburgh? There's something ringing a bell there, but six foot nine long. Andrew Clark's watching. Dinky do, Andrew. If anybody can help out, do. Andrew Clark, Dinky do. Gordon Robertson's watching. About time, too. Gary Blair's watching. Dinky do, Gary. Lovely to have you with us. Good morning, says the wonderful Gordon Robertson. Good morning, Gordon. Kelvin Allen is watching. <clears throat> Scotty, write a jingle to Peter Connolly's rhyme with your magnificent organ. Stuart McLean, you are quite right. It is a magnificent organ. Scotty, myself and Longshanks Leonard once caught a seagull while fishing. Can you put some respect on our names, please? Well, I don't know. You see, uh, you shouldn't really catch seabirds or do them any harm. How did you manage that? Finlay Morris. Ebenezer Place in Wick is the shortest street. Ah, I never knew that. Thank you, Peter Connolly. I was trying to think if there was some tiny street in Edinburgh, something in the recesses of my mind. And I wondered if it was off Rose Street. But Ebenezer Place in Wick, six foot, six foot long, six foot seven. Fantastic. Guys, you can't say we're not educational on here. Gene King's watching, dinky do, Michael Yo. Sorry, I haven't realised Scotty hasn't got to the question yet. Ah, right, Peter, don't worry about that. Uh, Stephen Menzies is watching, Gordon Hadley. Wonderful Stephen Menzies. So there we are. Uh, Thomas, we can't sort of go into that sort of line of things on here, but thank you. Yeah, you know, but uh, I'll have to, I'll have to pop that one out. So there we are. Thomas, we can't do that. No, sorry. Uh, that's what we need to be careful of, Thomas. Just things like that on the pop-ups. Uh, Scott McClure, I think the NHS should have donations paged on its website. People can donate if they want to, and this will further improve the NHS from Westminster yearly cutbacks. I think, Kareem, the NHS should have a donations page for various people who might want to give. It should also have um, on its donations page, here is the £350 million a week in excess of what we pay from the people of the UK via the government that we promised if you would agree to leave Europe so that our wealthy friends did not have to pay quite as much tax. So there you are. So that would be quite nice. When is the three hundred and fifty million pounds that was promised on the side of the red bus going to kick in? We need to know. What do you mean you agree? Surely Bill Gates agrees with Scotty McClure. Yes, but what Bill Gates did say is that the next war would be viral. Do you know what I mean? Uh, that sort of thing. Mario O'Donnell's watching a dinky do. Although chemical warfare is obviously nothing new. The mustard gas, the dreadful mustard gas in the First World War. Man's inhumanity to man. We need to stop that. I told you I got offered a job in China yesterday. Fantastic. Been a bit busy with work this morning, Scotty. Good morning. Wonderful Murray O'Donnell. You know fine Murray that there are no penalties. There are no sanctions for coming late to the table because by coming late to the table, you have punished yourself enough. You have missed 50 minutes of Scotty McClure. There we are. Shorter Street in Glasgow's Radnor Street, but it's longer than six foot nine. It's where the 57 bus used to terminate off Calvin Way. Gordon Robertson, I can remember 
the buses saying Radnor Street when they were going up Hope Street. Is that right? The old uh, orange and greens. And they, they all, so there was a, um, a terminus at Radnor Street. So they would be going out Watergyle Street. Spot on, says George Newton. So there we are. So Ebenezer Place in Wick. Uh, Ave Maria on the organ, please, Scotty. Paul Sheridan's watching. Well, it depends if we do Mozart's Ave Maria. I have another one. I wonder if I could manage one of the big crowd-pleasing hymns. Fantastic. Right. You are right, of course. It should be Bill Gates agreeing with Scotty McClure. There we are. Uh, now, on the organ. yet George it's freezing up in this organ loft tell that young pair it's 25 quid and no confetti in the church grounds did you like that do you see what I did there the organist entertains anybody know what that one is come on come on come on no politics please Scotty Mario O'Donnell as if Scotty McClue would ever Discuss politics, you know fine and well. I am apolitical. All comers. John Marshall, Dinky Doo. Scott McClure, again, a good show. Thank you. Have a good day in Dinky Doo. Kareem, take care of your dear self. Mwah! Top man. Thomas Biden, John Marshall, tut, 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 my friend. George Newton. One answer correct out of two. We'll try again tomorrow. Thank you, George. Don't make them too difficult, though, you know, because you're coming at me. I remember I'm working blind here. What radio station is the shortest platform in the UK? It's in Scotland. Is it Goldsby, Stephen Menzies? Because there was the Duchess's waiting room at Goldsby. Um, or it might be, is there another halt? That's not actually Goldsby. I think Goldsby station's got the Duchess is waiting room for the Duchess of Sutherland of the day. Rod Hardesty, let's hear Vidor's Toccato. Oh, you love that one, Rod Hardesty. What to do is you and I will duet it. So if you can get your wonderful organ and uh, we will duet on it. There we are. Have you seen any of the recitals on the magnificent organ at the Kelvin Grove Art Gallery, Scotty? Murray, all my life I have loved that organ. I might give one myself, really, to be quite honest. Give it coming, love the trivia stuff. Well done, says Peter Connolly. Absolutely. Well, I got one out of it. You got me the other. So there we are. Uh, me to uh, Leongard's watching. Have I said that properly? Mach und Leongard. Uh, Scotty, that was breathtaking. Jack Arthur, thank you. Do we know what it was? Were you able to recognize it? Guide me all. No, Rod Hardesty, it was not. It was uh, another one. So there we are. Great show as always, Scotty. See you tomorrow. Dinky do. Dinky do, my darlings. Goodbye song, please. Are we ready? It's Bewley. Bewley, I wasn't too far away.
Golf Bay's not that far from Bury, is it? Depending how you're travelling. I'd be honoured to have you play my organ, Scotty. Oh, long shanks. Fantastic. You're obviously an organist. Where in Austria is the biggest organ? In joke, the biggest organ I've ever seen uh, is in a big church in Austria, a cathedral. So there we are. As one of my German friends said, it was the biggest organ I had ever seen. So there we are, Rod Hardesty Dinky Doo. I think that was at the Preston Guild in 1992 in the company of an absolute top gentleman, P.C. Harry. Wonderful. So there we are. Right, it's time I pushed off. What? Oh my goodness me. Lovely, lovely, lovely being with you guys. Take great care of your dear selves. Stay fabulous and stay wonderful. But most importantly, stay home, stay safe, unless you are a key worker. And boy, are you a key worker. From me, Scotty McClure, God willing, weather permitting, join me tomorrow, Friday, for the last one of the week. As I say, I'll only do these as long as you're enjoying them. If you're not, you tell me and I'll stop. Lovely, lovely to have you all with us. Preston Guild, correct? Yes, absolutely, 1992. I hadn't realised I was out walking, there were all these crowds applauding when we were walking up the road. I thought it was for us. And then I realised it was for the floats at Preston Guild in 1992. Ladles and jelly spoons, I have to dash off the goodbye song. Are we ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen, au revoir. And a cheerio. Dinky-doo, my darlings. God bless. Mwah. Ta-da, lads!